Hello, I am Block Gaming here, and today I'll be showing you how you're going to get your in-game assets, be it models, um, walls, or floors, or roofs, from Google SketchUp Pro into the Unreal Development Kit. Unfortunately, you will have to have SketchUp Pro for this to work, um, because the features that we require are not available in the free version. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, bring up SketchUp, and this is the um, scene that you'll probably be greeted with, um, minus that. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a basic model. I do recommend that you do not create anything closed that the player is meant to be able to get into, like hollowed out, because the player will not be able to get into it because of the way that we're going to do the collision modelling. Instead you can build rooms out of the um, individual models that you make. So what we're going to do is we're just going to make a box, and we're going to use this lady here as a reference for its height, but it's not as big as people, so we'll do it chest height. Um, and then we'll just even it out so it looks a bit more like a box and not a rectangle. So that's a box, and now we're going to remove the lady. Bye, lady. And then we're going to grab this um, with the um, click, then draw a box over it. And then we're going to um, select the move tool, click it, and then put it where all the um, lines meet. Like, so the center of it is where all the lines meet. So, as you see here, well, it's not quite as you see here, but yeah, mostly. So, what you've got here is you've got the um, the thing that you created, mostly in the middle, and then you select the um, tool, the um, pointer tool, and then click off it, and then you bring up the materials menu. Right, say we wanted to have different materials for the top and the bottom. Um, these materials will not actually be imported to UDK, but it's a good way of telling UDK where materials go through. So what we're going to do is we're going to say that we want one material on all the um, outside faces, so the four around the side, and we want a different material on the top and the bottom. So there we are. And now you're going to go File, Save As, and then we're going to call it Box Tutorial, and then we're going to go File, Export, 3D Model, and we're going to select FBX File, and then we're going to go to Options and untick Export Texture Maps and make sure it's set to Model Units and then click OK and then click Export and this will appear to tell you that it's been done successfully and then we're going to go into um, UDK where um, I've made a, um, a brush with a light on it just to show you how it works um, sorry my light mass is a bit messed up at the moment. I'm not quite sure why that is, but I'll be getting to the bottom of it soon. So the lighting looks a bit odd. So we're going to bring up the content browser. Hello content browser. I have made a um you well, I've made another package. So we're going to go 3D model CDK box tutorial.fbx and I've got SketchUp Tutorial, the package, you can name that whatever you want, and the group of static mesh. Again you can name that whatever you want and the name of the model. So you can name that as whatever you want and I'll call it Deco Box 01. Um, and make sure only import animations as ticks, don't import any of the other things, combine meshes, just leave it as it is and import materials if you really want to and click OK. Um, this error will appear, it's not an error, it's just a warning. It doesn't actually matter too much if you don't do that. So just click OK and it will put you right through. Um, so what you're going to get, double click on the um, thing that appears, the mesh in the con content browser, is you will get a um, box that you can just navigate around. Um, it's not actually got any textures on it at the moment, which is a bit of a bummer, so we're going to be fixing that. But also, if you try and run into it in game, you will fall through it because it's got no collision modeling, as you can see by clicking show collision. So what we need to do is we need to add a collision model to it and go collision, six stop simplified collision, which will create a box around our model, as you can see by the green the green box around it. Right, so what we're going to do now is we are going to click off here and we're going to go all assets, cool materials and let's say we wanted our four faces around the outside um, these ones, I'll select them, these ones to be, um, oh wait no that's my um, other thing um, to be this texture here um, so we wanted the four faces around the outside 
to be this texture. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to the um, right here and then we're going to scroll down, go to LOD Info and click the dropy down button, then the dropy down button on the dropy down button, and then the dropy down button again, and then we'll see 0 and 1. Select 0. You should, oh no, drop down 0 first and then select a material next to 0. You should be able to see that the um, four faces change colour a tiny bit. Um, it's a bluish colour. So what we're going to do here is we're going to click on the material that we want and then we're going to click back here and then we're going to click this little left arrow here. Oh wait, I picked, <laughs> it's actually the top one that I've selected. The top and the bottom one that I've selected, but no matter. Um, so we'll just go to one as well. And say so you wanted the size of the model to be the ASC Floor BSP Tile 01. Um, and then we're going to click here and then click the arrow again. And then you've got a fully working model. It's a um, box with textures on it. Hooray. Um, so what you're going to do here is you're going to go to um, uh, SketchUp Tutorial. If you don't see it, click All Assets and you will see a deco box 01 and there's a bunch of materials that you've imported actually upon second thought don't import materials on the earlier part um, so just drag this on here and you will see that we have a box congratulations and the problem that most people have is they just go up straight ahead um, and click the play button oh wait no I haven't actually placed the player star so that will be a problem I'll just play from here and the lighting needs to be rebuilt. I'll just skip this bit because it takes a while. No light mass, please. <sighs> oh, wait, no, it doesn't take a while. Um, and then play from here. And some people will find that the model isn't actually appearing for them, and that's because you haven't saved the package file. So, what you'll do is um, file, save all, and make sure that all of the stuff is saved. Don't skip out any of it, and hopefully that should work. Um, now, this again now back into the game and here is the model you can see that you'll be able to shoot it and the decals will appear on the model's surface and you'll be able to um walk into when it won't let you through and you should be able to jump on top of it as well here yeah. and there you are you can you have now created your own model for UDK using SketchUp I may do a tutorial later on how to import the textures from SketchUp with it, but I hope you found this useful. Remember to subscribe.